Que dobro jutro, my friends. This is Herzeg Novi in the morning. Right down along the K. It's about 7.30 in the morning. And we're surrounded by mountains here too, you know? But it's so pretty. A little beach. Palm trees. You know, something that's really awesome. When you have palm trees. <laughs> January 2nd. Today's January 2nd. You got palm trees everywhere. Got the sounds of birds. Lots of boats. Old Town is up here. I'm gonna show you where old, I'm gonna show you Old Town again a little bit better. And there's this big, beautiful, uh, like archway kind of, uh, if you will, uh, that leads you into this bay that's supposed to be really pretty. Anyway, I slept really well. I'm gonna be here till three o'clock, and then I get on a bus for Serbia. Uh, so I'll be back in Serbia at fucking four thirty in the morning on tomorrow. Strašno. Anyway, my friends, that's it. Talk to you. Okay, check out this spot. This is a pretty little spot here in Herzeg Novi. This big statue, Kral Stefan Tvrtko Kotromnic. You know what that says? Pichkovat Herzeg Novi. Stefan Tvrtko. Oh, it's in English over there too. Kotormanic. Kotromanic. Wow. Beautiful spot for it in the little bench that says, I love Herzeg Novi. With a view of all of these little mountains behind us. Cannon. And then look up there. My eyes are always drawn to these really old, weathered stone fortresses. Hopefully I can get up and get in it. I don't know. But look at the homes here, too. Like right up there, right there. You know, the guy I rented my home off of, uh, I asked him how the economy and everything was here. And he said, you know, he said for three, three, four months out of the year, we do okay, especially if we live on a coastal community. He said, that other than that, people are making about 250 to $300 a month. And he said, with coastal communities, everybody like that has homes like this, they can rent them out like on Airbnb and stuff. And that's why they make money. He said also people from the interior of the country where there's not as much tourism all come through places like this and work in cafes and things. But he said, other than that, the uh, economy is not good. Uh, he said, it's the same as Serbia. So it sounds like a little bit less. It's 250 to 300, huh? Anyway, we don't want to talk depressing stuff. It's 2019, man. We're going to talk about the beauty of this pretty little city. Got a lot of little cafes out through here. This reminds me of like... I don't even really know. I, without sounding silly, I was going to say a place that I have not been. So I can't. Okay, I found another cool little spot. You can't go up on this old fortress, unfortunately. They have the gate locked. Uh, but, as you're walking along this beautiful promenade, there's like an old stone stairs. Of course there's stairs. This is Herzeg Novi, the city of stairs. And it just leads up here. You can see from that really pretty promenade. And all through there you got old, old stones. So this must be a really old part of the fortification. Then it goes over there to nothingness, maybe to those homes. Big chunks of old stone fortress here. And just a cool little chill spot, you know? Great place to come and watch the sunrise. It's early in the morning here. It's probably, I don't know, it's... I got up or I always get up early. But it's probably 7.45 in the morning. So you don't have very many people. You didn't have very many people anyway, you know? Beautiful promenade that goes over to another little settlement. I don't know the name of that one, but I don't think it's Herzeg Novi, it's the next one. I think it starts with an M, if I'm not mistaken. But man, just look at that. As the sun comes up, it looks fake, it looks like a painting, huh? God, it's pretty. And the water, I, I gotta get down and show you the water. The water is so clear. A lot of places you go in the world, it's really, you know, brown dark you can't see through it here it's clear you can see right down in it and as you drive through it looks almost aqua colored
turquoise even at some points. And then emerald green and others, it's just really pretty. The other cool thing that I noticed, you got lots of these uh, like cactus and stuff all over the place, which I didn't realize that. Palm trees up there, pretty homes, Spanish type homes. You know, I was trying to say earlier, it reminded me of something, but I couldn't think of what it was. It reminded, it reminded me of what Monte Carlo would look like, you know, in a way. I've been to like many, many coastal beach communities and nothing really looked like this because they didn't have that mountains right down on the beach. You know, that's what's cool here. The mountains just go straight down to the water. Anyway, my friends, I'm gonna go try to find me some coffee and show some more of the city. Oh my God, this sunrise is just absolutely stunning, huh? Wow, it just gives you this feeling of just Pure relaxation, you know? I don't know how else to explain it. That sounded cheesy, but it's true. Now look at this, this little settlement. This is exactly what I was telling you earlier. Uh, real pretty homes, but look at them. The reason, it's it's at an angle, the whole city, okay? So it's just like Herzeg Novi behind me. I'm staying like in the first row. The city, or the bus stations up there and everything else so anytime you you come down then you have to go back upstairs downstairs upstairs downstairs upstairs it is a nightmare <laughs> but it's what they got to do when you live in a country that's nothing but mountains and rock maybe you can see in the water can you see that yeah you can see down in it i told you it's just absolutely clear beautiful 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 Starigrad. There's the fortress. There's where I just came from. And once again, got all these stairs to deal with. I told you that was the biggest issue here. I mean, I'm in okay shape now, but if you're like a big, big American woman or gentleman, or somebody with an elderly gentleman, like the guy I just passed. How do you do this? I mean, it takes the wind out of me, you know? Prior to going to the USA this summer, I probably wouldn't have been able to do this either. Jesus Christ. So, Mont Montenegro Tourism Agency should make that known. The coastal towns are not for disabled. Americans and other folks who are obese. Banana trees, that's beautiful. You know what really sucks? I'm trying to get to that. I wanted to get to that. Uh, fortress. I guess you can't. You just keep climbing here. Stairway to frickin' heaven, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you. I want to get to the top. Okay, I was able to get here. It says it's open nine to seven, but obviously not today. That sucks. What's it say here? Fortress Fortimana. Sea fortress is built on the sea and the solid sea rocks. It represents the core nucleus of Old Town. During the Turkish rule, the fortress was called Abbas Pasha's Fortress. The fortification remnants from the Bosnian period are kept in the fortress. Bosnian lords carved into a large stone. There's a water spring at the foot of the fortress. Well-known verses from 1906 of a poet, Alex Santic, are carved into the marble panel. When it was a built, but a... Oh, well, wow. it's beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's really neat about the fortress, or about the spring, you know? Never thought about that. But it makes total sense that they would have to have that, because if the enemy surrounded you, they're going to starve you out and just dehydrate you. See, this is, as I told you, Hefzeg Novi. You go from there, whoosh, angles down. Steep angle. My house is like right around this little bend, right on the bottom, so constant stairs. Look at these homes, a Spanish influence, huh? Really pretty. And that's it, friends. Hey, cha cha. Still wandering. Man, it's pretty. But it's dead, you know? 
It's eight. I just looked at the clock. It's eight fifteen. Not a soul on the promenade or here. You can tell this is definitely Herzegovina is definitely a tourist coastal town. And a lot of people told me the whole place, almost this whole region is dying. Uh, people are just getting out because there's not that many opportunities. And it's unfortunate because as a foreigner, when you come here, you look around and you're like, wow, this is gorgeous. But I guess if you live here and you can't make a living and you can't support yourself, you know, you can't do it. Anyway, my friends, that's it. Going into the old town, supposedly here. And as you can see, there's not a soul. So I'm gonna to try to find me a coffee. I'll go this way. I still haven't had a coffee yet. I got up like a long, long time ago. But I'm only here for a little bit longer. It sucks. Because I have to be back in Novi Sad on the 4th of January. So I can only say one more. I was gonna to go to Budva, but I don't have time to go to Budva. And anyway, I'm totally sold on the place. So anybody ever has a question about Montenegro, or wants a, a reference, definitely gonna push him to it, it's gorgeous. Fun, price-wise, I mean, it's, it's, it's not expensive for Western standards, but it's still kind of pricey for, for this region, you know? Ate last night, uh, and it was like Heliodou Dvanaist, so 12 euro for like a little stuffed piece of chicken with some french fries and a beer which is pretty expensive in Serbia I could have got the same thing for about half that price but it's a coastal town they're making their money off foreigners so that's the way it is there's the fortress that's it my friends I'm done with Herzeg Novi well not yet I still gotta have coffee and some breakfast Duh. okay I'm not gonna go just yet I want to show you this I showed this last night but did I show this little man I love this these stone stairs. Did I show this guy? Who is he? Pomtimo Nashe Originale Kakobre. Looks like a little Chetnik, I said. I guess it's not a Chetnik. But they like Serbs here, right? Do Virginia. Okay, check this out. I just ordered a beautiful omelet here. And look, here in the Balkans, you get a whole basket of bread with whatever you order. God, I can't eat that much bread or I'll get fat. But these people don't. Man, you know what's really cool? I was just right up there eating at a place called Gradska Kafana. It's right here. Beautiful view. But anyway, I'm sitting in there eating. Beautiful omelet. And then all of a sudden on Instagram, I got a notification. And I had a message. And it said, uh, Charles, thank you for visiting our restaurant here. And I was like looking around. I thought, what? In a different country here eating and get that message and then a young man comes over and uh, shakes my hand gives me a hug and he said hey nice to meet you he said i follow you and i was like wow man that's so cool you know i'm here in a totally different country uh thinking i'm incognito and somebody knows who i am and who's the owner's son something like that they own a couple restaurants here beautiful place great omelet excellent coffee uh, but anyway, I thought that was a really neat experience for me. I look like shit. I haven't shaved or anything. And I told him, I said, man, I'm sorry. I look like hell. <laughs> anyway, cool to be Charles in the Balkan. Hey, ciao, ciao, people. It's my last hour, unfortunately, here in Herzeg Novi. Beautiful little town here in Montenegro. And I got a funny joke about Montenegro. I've told it before, but I'm going to tell it again. One day, Djukanovic, the president of Montenegro, sent a bomber to the USA and he bombed New York City. Donald Trump did nothing. He was expecting retaliation, but Donald Trump did nothing. Second day, he thought, you know what? We're going to bomb another city. So he sent a bomber over to uh, Los Angeles, destroyed Los Angeles. Still, Donald Trump did nothing. Third day, he said, you know what? We're going straight to Washington. We're going to destroy Washington, D.C. So he sent a bomber over and bombed Washington. Nothing. So he sent a message over and called, got a hold of Donald Trump, and he said, are you guys scared of Montenegro or what's going on? And Donald Trump said, you know what? The minute we find out where the fuck Montenegro is located on the map, you guys are dead. <laughs>